What is going on guys? Back at some EFD today. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing it today. Uh, yeah, we're going in. F uh, we're going to attempt to eliminate our first faction leader. Uh, and after doing some thorough investigation, I've decided uh, freedom is going to be our first target. Uh, and a little bit confusing. There's three members that are three. Yeah, three of these guys are sort of the leaders ish. I mean, I think there's only one now. There's Lukash, which is like the current leader of freedom. But when I was diving into the wiki, there's a couple other guys. There is a, uh, a Chekov or Chekov, probably Chekov. He's uh, he's the founder of the faction group, and I think he will be there. So he's got to go too. he's kind of a leader, you know. Um, and then last but not least, there's Lingov, who is kind of the right hand man. So not exactly the leader, but he's pretty important. So we're gonna attempt to eliminate all three of them, given that they're all three at the army warehouse base, because that is where I'm gonna go. Uh, but before we do that, we are gonna swing into Jupiter right now, and then uh, head into Red Forest, uh, because we got a we got a special stash here. We might have something good in it, and we're gonna need that. Also in the Red Forest, I'm hoping to find some mutants, which I'm sure I will, because we need food so badly, um, and I also need water. I need everything. I'm just constantly dying on this character we're starving or thirsty over some radiation um, and I also added in a mod which judging by the visibility of this anomaly it looks like it's working this is a mod called arrival which just uh, it, it makes all the anomalies in the game look very cool a bit more vibrant a bit more of a spectacle to see not a invisible hidden thing that is just going to kill you uh, which is pretty nice. I actually enjoy being able to see these things instead of them just surprising me all the time because the anomalies are what makes this game so atmospheric and I think you should be able to see them for sure. Um, they're still not like super easy to see if you're not paying attention but you know they're much more visible and I definitely would recommend this mod. Let's uh, let's get into Jupiter and then we're just gonna cut through all the way to the Red Forest which should be exciting. All right, in Jupiter we are. I really hope we get a chance, I'm sure we'll get a chance to use this new shotgun that we picked up. What is this thing? It's an MPD-153, yeah. Semi-automatic. It should just destroy mutants, I think. Um, I believe it has, it has a five round tube? Weird. Maybe it's six, if you count the chambered one. That would make more sense. Probably should actually just grab some water at this pond on our way out. Um, Red Forest exits there. Yeah, and I'm not going to worry about those green stashes. We just don't exactly need them. We'll set a waypoint to there, and then we'll go hit this water. Yeah, it's all coming together. Ooh, yes, the mod is working. That looks sick. Okay, so it had an option in the uh, when I was installing the mod to the mod organizer. You know, a lot of mods, if they have a, a, a faux mod folder within them, it'll give you all these install options, which is nice. I enabled one of the options that puts a kind of a smoky, you know, bog looking cloud around toxin anomalies, which uh, looks pretty damn good. I like that. And you can see it from a pretty good distance. So areas where there's a lot of toxin anomalies, it'll just kind of have this weird, like, dirty smoke. <laughs> um, who's that? Oh, that's a bandit. Oh, okay. Uh, we might want to kill these dudes because they could have some good stuff on them. And they're sort of just in the way. So let's do that. I'll have my guys ignore combat for now. Just so they don't give away my position. Oh, dude, I'm like dying, dying. Hold on. I just looked at my health again. Ah, jeez. Uh, smoke? We're just gonna sit here in the in the bushes and have ourselves a smoke. Hopefully get rid of that radiation. That is crazy. Um, and I need to heal. Oh, dude, I don't have any... <laughs> I did not prepare. I only have one IFAC after this. We're definitely going to have to go back to base again before we uh, finish out our uh, objectives for today. Man, alright. I hope... Alright, they see us already. I was about to say, I hope they don't. Okay, there's one down. Okay, we took down a couple just now. That was pretty good. Um, check mag. Oh, 
I think we may have gotten that guy. I think we did. Uh, okay. Oh, careful guys. I do not want to lose any of these companions. I need them for their carry weight. Oh, okay, we gotta reload. You dirty bandits. Am I even hitting this guy? Okay, yeah, he's dead. I think I was shooting him in the arm. Was not doing much damage. Let's push up. Oh, jeez. Remote looting disabled? What does that mean? I don't know. Ouch. Uh, let's go ahead and just bandage that. Okay, you guys act like there's no left. Is that all of them? Did you guys get them? Oh, shit, yeah, bud. Okay, cool. We're good. Um, still, still dying from radiation, though. We do have an anti-rad, which makes me hungry. God. Dude, if I don't find food, we're gonna have some serious problems. Hopefully some of them had some food. A mule? That's useful. Adds 20 kilograms to carry weight. Um, damn, no food. One of these dudes has gotta have some food, man. An AKS, that's not bad. We'll take everything off of that. We're gonna actually take these rounds. The SK-94 with a functional barrel. This could be a pretty fun gun to use. And we'll take both the magazines for it. All that. You guys say to sell these magazines, but like, they, they don't sell for that much. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe it's because I'm on the harder, hardest difficulty, but they sell for like 20, 30 rubles a mag. Like for a Stanag mag. They just don't sell for hardly anything. Man, look at the magazines this dude is packing. Let's go. Okay, that's that's that. Let's get out of here. Uh, I wonder if there's any loot up on this. There is. There's a, there's a soda. Okay, let's take that. Sparkling water won't hurt um is that everything we can open that what is this camouflage tarping we'll take it all right we should be good well who are these guys oh nice it's monolith you go do you guys have any food <laughs> hey stop moving well and i actually need to speak to like all of you if any of them are selling food man uh i could eat a snore can that's 800 rubles it's not like ready to eat but it's it's not bad we're gonna buy that. Uh, well, we got a snore can. Can I cook this? I could. If I had some mineral water, I could make it a little bit better. But we are in need of food, like, right now. So we're gonna just cook that and eat it. Jeez. It's a horrible meal, by the way. Probably gonna poison me a bit. No? I'm actually okay? I'm still very hungry, though. Oh, God. This is so rough. Oh. These guys are in combat. Oh, there's a freedom member. What are they doing? Look at them. They're sneaking up on him. Oh, that's so cruel. Oh. <laughs> Good work, boys. <laughs> They're like my hunting dogs. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. What did this dude have? Poor guy. Um, not much. <laughs> Wait, I hear dogs. Usually it's not ambient. If you hear barking in the distance, it's, it's usually like actually dogs. We're gonna go investigate. I hear them. They're usually closer than you think. Yeah. He just shot at something. What was that? What did you shoot? Did he just like quick scope a dog and now I will never find its body. I have no idea where it could have been. He just, he just one tapped it. The companions are too good, man. Oh, what the? Hello? Dude. Oh, that's so cheese. Hold on, loot corpses? Can I request them to like loot that? Will they loot the, the boar? No, he, he's not going to loot it. Okay. Oh, I need a better knife, man. All right, let's fill up the canteen. Make sure it's all the way full. It's dirty water, so we're gonna have to boil it. There should be a fireplace. Okay, we got a fireplace here. Uh, boil all of the water. It's still not great, but it's good enough. I only have one IFAC. I'm gonna save it until I really need it. Which I arguably do right now. But <laughs> we should be okay. Oh God, I knew I heard something.
It's dead. What are you shooting? Is it all- are we good? Alright. Yes, he dropped food. Okay. Uh, I don't have a cooking kit. Oh, I could roast it, but it would be sort of a waste. Because you'd only get like a- I'd get like very little calories from that. I need to use a, an actual kit to cook it. It'll make it less toxic and it'll give us more calories. Well, at least we have one bit of food. Hopefully we can get a bit more. Oh, maybe that's why my stamina sucks. I bet that is exactly why. I'm so hungry that I just can't. Yeah, of course. Duh. I'm constantly radiated. I don't even remember walking into radiation. I don't know where it's coming from. But now I'm now my health's down to my legs. I'm, I'm a one tap. We have to use this. Oh my god. All right, this is our last IFAG. <laughs> oh god. I need help. I need an adult. And we're about to go into the red forest with absolutely no business being here. This is a terrible idea. I should turn back now, but we're so close. I want this pink stash. Ugh. Okay, here goes. This might be terrible. First time in red forest in EFP. Uh, I hear a bunch of gunshots already, which is bad. Uh, but it should just be like Sin and Monolith over here. For the most part. Which we can handle. They're friends, you know? Uh, okay, yeah, like, that's Sin. Sometimes there's mercenaries here. Maybe it's mercenaries. Dude, my health is... I just... I, I just healed. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're so gonna die. Alright, hold well, on. This mission is just right there. We just need to, like, get there, grab it, and just leave. I don't... I'm not gonna try to really play any... Play any... I'm not playing any games in here. Because we are so fragile. Are we good? It's a little bit quieter now. I think we're okay. Let's just keep moving. Um, okay, this stash is... I'm gonna straight up die of radiation. Can I break all these? Yes, I can. There might be something in here. Oh! Are you shooting the box? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the radiation's so bad. I, I think it's just a general radiation in the area. It's just killing me. We need to- we need to leave. <laughs> Holy hell. Is this stash up top? Uh, do I have stamina for this? Yes. Okay. Let's loot it. What do we got? Oh my god, a drug making kit, bro. We needed that. And some documents. Uh, a whole bunch of ammo. Bro. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That was so good. We're gonna die, though. Time to leave. Time to... Oh. No, bro. <laughs> I'm so upset. Um. Well, you hate to see it. You really fucking hate to see it. This is this is really bad because uh, EFP doesn't have the exact same mechanics as Gamma when it comes to stashes. And so, if you loot a stash and then reload save, the contents of said stash change. So it's very possible that I don't actually get a drug making kit because I died. But let's just see. Thank God. Okay. It's different, but it's pretty same. We got the drug making kit. Uh, and a suit environmental protection. Cool. We'll take it. Save. Save's coming. I don't care. Let's not run into the toxin anomaly, which is clearly right there. And I just... I even saw it before. I don't know why I walked into that. They're much more visible now. I like that. They put off a nice glow. Yeah, I have no way to heal myself. Not a single, not a single way to heal. I'd love to explore this forester building and all that, but... Oh, where's my teammate? No. Stop. Oh my god. Come here. Which one of you has the vodka? You have the vodka. Drinking the vodka. This is my only chance. This is my only way to maybe get rid of this radiation. Uh, ah! Die? Dude! Oh my god. I have no health. What the fuck? Okay. We're fine. Dude, look at our health. It, the vodka worked, I think. We're not radiated, so like, we're not technically losing health right now. Uh, I shouldn't be alive. I gotta get out of this. How did I even get behind this tree? There's anomalies everywhere. 
How did I do that? Go this way? Well, now I gotta loot these bodies. I might actually get something good off some of these dudes. These dudes were juiced. Look at this loner. Look at his loot. Dude. Oh, he's got cigars. I'm gonna definitely need that. 60 rounder. This mil spec exoskeleton power supply is such a rare drop. I, like, I have to have that. That is such a rare item. Oh man, there's so many bodies. One of these has got to have meds. Like, please. No, there's nothing. Oh, no, no, no that's radiation. Shit. Please, no, make it go away. Please, 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 please. Oh my god. Okay, it went away. Holy shit, that was close. I used the... I used the cigar. I used the Cuban. So, we're gonna have to leave all of those juicy bodies. Which really sucks. There's some good loot on them, I'm sure, but... It's not worth our lives. Well, uh, let's go ahead and turn in this mission. I'm not sure who gave it to me. Neither of these guys did. Do I sleep? I need food. No, I need food first. So let's... Who's holding the food? Not you. There it is. Alright, let's grab that. And then we should be able to just cook this right now. And I can use the mineral water, which will make it... Instead of 120 calories, it'll be 220 worth. Let's eat this meal. Which is not going to last long, because we're about to sleep. That filled up like a tenth of our food. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Oh, was it Eidolon that gave me this mission? It might have been. Look at this dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Job's done, bro. Dude, he only gave me 8,000. Oh, it's pretty rough, man. Okay, now we need to sleep, which will heal us, but we're going to be starving again. So, yeah. How much health? Oh, God. It gave us barely any health. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, all right. We need water. We need more food. Uh, this was not what I had planned for today. Um, I'm just gonna put that out there. We were supposed to go to Army Warehouse and just wreak havoc, but we... Yeah, I'm a, a bit humbled right now. This is... Okay, 330 calories would be five grand. Get some side sucker meat. Uh, I feel like this is a good deal. And then maybe we can buy both of these meals. And this is a bit strategic because, see, yeah, I can eat this one, which will give me health restoration. And then I can eat this one, which will give me chemical resistance. So any poisoning I get from the food should go away because snork meat's actually OP because it gives you chemical resistance. Uh, let's buy that. We're broke. We'll go outside. We'll sit by the fire. Um, nice. I just leveled up endurance. We'll sit by the fire. This should speed up the process of healing a bit. My food is still extremely low so we have one more meal that'll get us up to about half but i'm thinking we can still salvage this maybe if we can get full health we got a drug making kit from the stash in the red forest so we're gonna be able to i think actually craft some meds hopefully and also getting to army warehouse is also still gonna be an issue because we have to go through either radar or red forest and i think i'd much rather go through radar to be honest, as insane as that sounds, I feel like radar would be a safer bet. Just because I know that there's only gonna be monolith here and mutants. I feel a bit let down. I feel like we had so much potential, so many things I wanted to do today, but I actually don't think we can because of the limitations of our supplies. All right, I just went AFK for a minute. Um, health is looking good enough. And our food, look how fast it drops, bro. We were at half and now it's like down almost to a third. Like, come on. What is going on? This is, doesn't this seem a little excessive? I, maybe it's just me. I don't know. All right, we've got everything stored. Let's look at our medical. Okay, so now we can actually yes, dude, we can craft IFAX. It takes one antibiotic, two bandages, and two plastic film. Surprisingly, we don't have more of these. An AI two takes an empty syringe and antibiotics. That's pretty easy to make. Well, let's definitely craft one of these. And so we need to actually be picking up empty syringes and this plastic film. That's going to be super helpful for us. We'll go ahead and make an IFAC. Uh, we could actually make two, but then we're going to need bandages. But it looks like we can craft some. Okay, so we just got two IFACs. That's huge. And an AI2, which is a faster use item, but works about the same. We got to switch up guns, I think. So let's grab all of our 762 by 39 So that's either going to be an SKS or an AKM, it looks like. AKM, which is already repaired. How about that? Lovely. It's a lot of 762 by 39. That's a super powerful round compared to what we've been using. 
This dude wants a meat chunk artifact. Um, I might do that just so we can get some more money. Does Eidolon want it? Yeah, Eidolon wants everything. Dude, 14, whoa! That was so worth. <laughs> okay, we got 15 grand. Let's go. We could buy some food now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. This is crazy. I want to just not be hungry for a minute. That'd be nice. There we go. Alright, so we got our homies. We got a nice gun. This AK. This should, uh, this should clap. I just leveled up strength. So we got melee damage and carry weight improved. That's pretty good. Set away point. We'll go into radar and from there we'll get into army warehouse and then we're just gonna start taking shots. I'm sort of in between, like I don't want to feel like I'm rushing this playthrough, but I sort of am because we're many episodes in now and I, I haven't even taken out my first faction leader. I think I just really didn't think EFP would be this difficult to, to simply survive. Um, definitely underestimated it a bit. We'll have to get our water from army warehouse as well. Yeah. I don't think we've been, yeah, we definitely have not been to radar yet this playthrough. Um, hopefully it's not too bad since we are monolith, but uh, we'll see. Oh, jeez. What the? Okay, uh, we just loaded in. Look at these dudes. Whole lot of monolith here. I don't think they're gonna have much for me. Uh, a lot of zombies as well. That is a ton. Look at this, this is a busy street. What the heck? All right, we're already walking into radiation. All right, that's gonna be probably the biggest issue here. And uh, we don't really have, we have like three smokes. We just need to kind of just get through here and more radiation. It's yellow radiation. That's just not good. Get me out of it, please. Oh my god, it just turned red. Okay. We do not need to be radiated. We really don't. So I guess while we're chilling here, I will go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll address my upload schedule a bit, even though we're super far into the video and only my good fans are still here, <laughs> which uh, thank you guys. Um, I've been taking on some new challenges in life. Um, pretty recently. Uh, over the last month, I've really been putting a lot of focus, maybe too much because YouTube has definitely been taking a hit because of how much time I'm putting into my physical fitness, personal health, stuff like that. It's all good things to be sort of working on. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I sort of started this still uh, for, for, it's a three month thing that I kind of made up for myself to try to just get in a lot better shape. Um, I'm not like insanely out of shape, but you know, it doesn't hurt to just kind of get healthy. It's something I've always kind of wanted and tried to do, but I'm taking it a bit more seriously this time around. So um, yeah, so for the next two months from here, uh, I'll still be, you know, really heavily, uh, you know, going to the gym, working on my fitness just learning all kinds of cool stuff about it and uh you know a little bit of a little bit of a real life journey for me my upload schedule is kind of weird right now <laughs> you know I, I definitely want to get more than one video a week i don't feel like that's acceptable but uh, just to get give you guys an insight of what's been going on with me um so yeah like everything's been great and so far it's going pretty well but uh yeah man i'm trying to be trying to get a little bigger you know what i'm saying it's uh it's a lot of fun any of you guys that are into fitness and stuff you know you know it's nice every time that little symbol pops up on the left side of the screen like it does right now i am just getting cooked basically and the only way to get out of it is to run what the fuck was that yo what is that oh my god my radiation levels what was that i don't know what i just ran into that was some kind of anomaly not ideal. I'm still radiated, like, really badly. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you're joking me, dude. I can't. I think I'm dead here. That was a good nade. Help. I don't have the uh, ammo for this, and I'm just getting cooked. We gotta use this. Don't die, teammates. Poor zombie. <laughs> you just got crushed. Oh my gosh, reload. Ah, I don't want to shoot you, bud. Oh. Okay, managed to save our friendlies. Let's take a, another smoke, our last one. And we are just dying. Um, hopefully there's a fireplace up ahead. 
Okay, there's a bunch of dead zombies here, which I am gonna loot because they might have some like little meds and stuff. Oh, a car med kit. That's actually nice. What does this do? Uh, it doesn't get rid of radiation, but yeah, that's not bad. A fireplace up ahead, so I'm gonna hopefully just survive long enough to go to loot these bodies and then get to that fireplace. I think I just got more meds off that guy. Oh no, I was looting too fast. Oh, what are those? Are those dead lurkers? The fire does get rid of radiation, right? I'm pretty sure, but I'm dying very quickly. I'm I am severely radiated. German quack? An experienced model of stalker there. Um, I might actually be What are you looking at, bro? What do you want? Why is this dude just <laughs> What do you want? You want flesh meat? No. Go away. <laughs> dude just watching me die here. He's going, man, I hope you don't die, man. That would suck. I'd hate to have to take all your gear. Yeah, radiation is not going away. We gotta just keep moving, I guess. That sucks. I thought the fireplace would uh would help me there. Ooh, we do get some loot off of these. I'm so glad these are not looted. We just got food off both of them. I guess we just go into Army Warehouse. I mean, that is the plan. That's what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to be in this type of, type of condition here. All right, let's take more meds and let's get out of here. And hopefully we can figure out this radiation. I don't know. I've actually never had this much trouble with it before. Army Warehouse. We're actually here. Let's go. Um, where's the nearest fireplace? We're at the barrier. Uh, hopefully the gatekeeper does not get eyes on us because his whole job up there is to prevent this kind of thing from happening. The monolith getting into the southern regions. Oh, okay, it looks like we have monolith right there though, so we're okay. Fireplace, what? Oh, are you lighting that? Oh, you're a G. Thanks, buddy. Okay, do you have anything that could oh he has food how about we sell him let's just try to take all of his money by selling him these parts but, okay so now we got almost nine thousand let's get the meat two grand thank you sweet we have food we do not have a cooking kit on us though so we actually can't do anything with this i mean we could roast it but it'd sort of be a waste i don't know what to do we're just gonna burn through more meds i guess I, these meds should really get rid of ra radiation. This is, feels unfair. Okay, yeah, okay, the radiation just turned white. <sighs> we might be alright, boys. Who's that? Zombies. Yo, gatekeep. What are you doing, bud? All these... <laughs> all these enemies are getting in. Enemies to you. Alright, so now that we're here, sort of plot out our... our plan to victory here. We need to take out the leaders in this army warehouse camp. And the closer I get to it, the more I'm starting to think that this is an actual suicide mission. And I don't think I can do it. <laughs> but we might be alright. We got two companions, we got an AKM, and a dream. So, more importantly though, let's hit this pool of water on our way over there. Uh, we'll fill up our canteen, we can go cook it at one of these, or uh, boil it at one of these fires. Then we can be good on water. I'm still radiated. I'm gonna wait till this radiation is gone if I can, before I use another med kit. Yeah, no. Are you getting shot at? What? What was that? Dude. Come on, I'm still radiated. Did he just get shot? I don't know what's happening. Why can't I pull out my gun? Uh oh, did I just get the busy hands bug? No way. No way! I have to reload safe. I can't pull out any guns. I just broke the game. Okay. We're good. I don't know who these guys are looking at, but he's going in. Oh, be careful, guys. I'll be here. You guys good? Oh. Jesus. You brought a snort. Two. Oh, I gotta reload. Okay, killed one. Good job, guys. Really great stuff there. That was, <laughs> that was amazing. All right. Uh, let's loot this guy. Why not? Okay, that one dropped a hand. We can eat. You know what? I'm pretty desperate for food right now, so let's go ahead and just roast this. There we go. This gives us 500 millisieverts of radiation poisoning, though. Maybe we don't eat that. Hmm. This is so rough. I mean, is this what the monolith have to go through 
to get down south. Like, it's... I almost feel bad for them at this point. The food would be nice. We're gonna eat it. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not waiting for this radiation to go away, because it's just taking too long. We gotta move. We can probably get uh, get through here, take out who we need to take out, and get out. Jesus Christ, dude, come on. No. There is a... Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I don't think he has anything to throw at us, so we're good. Just a poltergeist. Alright, he's done. Jeez. <laughs> usually don't see those out in the open like that. Um, okay, we got a fire up there. We got water over here. Need to hit both of these. Don't know if there's any stalkers camped up. There is freedom right there. Okay. Well, let's do our best to avoid it for now. We need to get this water and not die to this giant toxin thing. Jeez. What? Bad timing for that. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, this is going to be so toxic. It's going to probably hurt. My stamina is gone. Not a good time. Not a good time. Not a good time for it to be gone. Okay, it's full. Oh, get out of that. Jeez. At least there's fires, like, all over. That helps. Let's boil the water. There we go. We've used, like, five med packs just dealing with radiation today. This is not cool. Um, but anyway, that's what we have to do. Let's keep moving now. Who's that? Dead zombies? Alright. There is freedom here. There's a dead freedom member right there. Okay, they're moving up on them. We're gonna get this whole base sent on us, like, before we even get in there, I think. This is definitely not my smoothest operation, you guys. What this guy have? Oh my. We're just gonna auto-loot, we don't really have time. Okay? Did you guys not handle him? Whatever you do? <laughs> Alright, we killed one freedom member. A lot more where that came from. Uh, this guy had some bandage. That's good. Some ammo. We need to find Lukash. I think he stays in this big building, like, right down here. Not 100% sure. Oh, man, they're already on the tower as well. I think one of my... I think we're gonna have some casualties today. Look at that dude. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, I was hitting him. I... I <laughs> That was so weird. Oh, man. Let's get in there. This is stupid. This is not how you're supposed to, like, go about anything. We need, like, a scoped high-powered rifle. We're very underpowered for this. Nice. I think I got him. Oh. The dude in the little hut. We're going in. Okay. Oh, I hear so many. Domed. How am I doing on ammo? About half a mag, okay. Ow. Domed. I am bleeding. Uh, let's bandage that. Who's dying? Are you not- You're not dead? Oh my god. Nice. We're dropping him. We'll just keep doing this. Ow. Ow, ow. That hurt. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, how am I getting shot? Uh-oh. Uh, let's pop some meds. Correct. Uh, I think there's some to my right. Am I? What? What? I'm almost dead. I got shot in the head. Uh oh. Come on. I'm bleeding heavy right now. <laughs> okay, we're taking a, uh, this 
drugs for my body. Body broke. Body broken. Take one of these. Heal. Still bleeding. Oh my gosh. That guy, whoever that guy was. It could be better, but we're doing good. I hear a lot. More. My vision is so blurry. I can't see. I can't see that far. When does my head stop being blurry? When, when can I see? Does this guy have anything for it? He has meds. And a, and a Glock 17. That's beautiful. Let's grab all that. Hey! No, no, no. <laughs> Ooh! Watch out! Oh my god. Can you guys kill him? Holy... You guys kinda suck. Just saying. Oh, Lukas is dead. Wait, did I just kill Lukas? Wait, was that him? That's... Okay, hold on. No, I just saw Lukas' name. Oh, that's Lukas. Hey, we got him. We already got him. Nice. Now, I think it's only right, though, that we loot the body. That's only one of the guys. There's only, there's still, like, the two other... Uh, well, I can't remember their name. Like, Chekyov and... Something else that starts with an L. Can't remember. <laughs> there's somebody. Dead. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I think I'm on the, the magazine that has the, the crazy ammo. Wait. API, yeah. This shit lights people on fire. <laughs> Did you see that? That's crazy. Oh my... What? Oh! <laughs> it's so cool. Bro, the special ammunitions are no joke. Let's move out. Oh, my head is so damaged still. Wait. Alright, let's post-heal all that stuff. There we go. My head is fixed. Correct. I think I'm gonna get in that tower if I can. That's probably my best move right now. Woo. Bandage again as well. Oh, don't shoot me. Okay. Oh man, we are a little bit exposed. This tower is not the best. Oh! Skin flint? Oh, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, man. <laughs> Why is he wearing that? Usually he has like a hippie shirt on. Alright, well we got t we got skin flint as well. Oh, you're done. And I just want to take this time to say I'm very proud of how my companions are doing. It's pretty good. They have not gotten themselves killed yet, so... Oh my. Okay, we are way up here now. What is this? A Smith & Wesson 645? What kind of little gun is that? It's a 45, that's crazy. Ah! Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that, dude? I don't know who just shot me, but that was crazy. Got one. I feel like maybe I should- the tower is not the move. Am I sh shit? Hold on. Die! Okay. I don't want to be up here anymore. This is scary. I'm running down. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, this is better. Oh, nice. Good kill, guys. Oh, jeez. I think we should hop down. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I think we've actually killed almost everybody. It's getting a little bit quiet now. There. Dead. Are we good? Oh, they're chilling. They're in not combat mode. This is amazing. We need help over here. We're under attack by model troops and army warehouse. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn right you are. We're coming in. Uh, I need to loot these bodies. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. There's definitely more guys. Uh, here's a good old skin flint. He has a uh, a magazine on him. That's about right. He wasn't really one of the targets, but he is kind of an important character. That's a good magazine. Extended Stanag. All right, here's Lukash. Actual important character. I believe the leader of freedom. He's got a G36, USP45, and a cooking kit, which we actually need. 5.56 and some 45 ammo. That's amazing. Okay. I wish I had the- I don't have the body dots, uh, mod, so finding all these bodies is gonna be a little bit tough. 
Let's start by clearing out this left side here. We also have a stash over here. It's kind of exciting. I got him. Hey, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. You can stop. Okay. You just had to empty that mag out. Yeah. You know, I wasn't too confident in the in our ability to uh, do this today. But we did pretty good. Now we should be able to use this fire. And cook some food. Nothing like wiping out an entire base and then cooking a nice meal right, <laughs> right where they're bodies are. Alright, let's cook both of these. Some stewed lurker meat, which gives me so a little bit of radiation. It's actually not too special at all, but it's food. We need that. Hell yeah, look at that. Full food, full water. Alright, let's let's check the main building. There's probably still some enemies in here. Uh, I could turn our headlamp on. Oh yeah, there's the technician right there. <laughs> he doesn't mind. Oh yeah! You scared me. Why is he not dead? What was that? Wait, what? <laughs> he just meleeed him. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh jeez. <laughs> Bro. Oh, dude. Just bullying him. This is messed up. Oh. Jesus. Does he not die? Okay, he's dead. Um, I feel bad, but it's like, you know, we had to kind of, you know, it, I don't really have an excuse. That was pretty messed up. Does this dude have anything? Oh, wow. He's actually got decent stuff. Food and meds. Okay. Let sleeping dogs lie. That's right. Fed ya. Heart is on. <laughs> that is actually so baller that he, <laughs> that he said that. So freedom base, uh, check. We did it. Uh, ooh, an MP5. Hey, we... Oh wait, no, this is different. This is an MP5SD custom. This is actually really sick. I kind of just want that for myself, but we do need to keep a lookout. We still need two more regular MP5s uh, in order to complete one of our missions. We just got to turn in three of them, which is a bit obnoxious, but that's that's what, that's what the guy wanted. All right, there's a bunch of bodies, I believe, right here. Yeah. Uh, Leonka, Avitiaz, don't really need that. Oh my, okay, there's a lot of body bodies over here. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? What the heck? They must have really liked this spot for cover. In their training exercises, they probably said, okay, everybody hide behind this wall, it's the best spot. Um, yeah, I don't think that worked out too well. Hey, dude, we got another lockpick. Let's go. Uh, a map. Bunch of ammo. Bunch, a bunch of ammo. Look at this SVT, yo. Ah, I wish I remembered if we had one of these in base. I can't remember if we do. I feel like we don't. The SVT is nasty. So I kind of want that. Just in case we don't already have one. Okay, all those guys are looted. What about you? Hey, there it is, an MP5A3. That's for our task. Grab it. Little camouflage scorpion there with a the suppressor. That's sick. Uh, here's a nice SIG P226 extended mag. I'll take that. I don't know what Varma ammo is, but we'll grab it. What does this do? Uh, bonus damage against mutants, looks like. That's kind of nice. Uh, Glock 17 Gen 4, we have one of those, so we don't need another one. I will take the mag, so... Oh, God, I'm too heavy. Um, um, what can I drop? Let's drop this. All right, you... I hope this dude can hold a little bit more stuff. Okay. Yeah, he's very heavy now. All right, let's grab the SVT back. Oof, that's a ton of stuff. All right, wait here. Let me check up top. I don't think we killed anyone up here, but maybe. Oh, wow. All right. Well, we've destroyed these guys. I think that's everybody. Or no, there's definitely some bodies uh, down here by the trains. So maybe I'll check those and then we can get out of here. I will say this. If you guys watched, I think it was the last episode where I changed the settings for the, the emissions and size storms. I uh, made them not quite as often, not uh, not quite as common, and uh, man, what a what an A plus change that was. It's so nice to just not have to worry about those constantly. Not that they even hurt me as a monolith. It's just uh, they're just kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, 1911, cool. Oh, there's a guy way back here. Okay, loot. What is this? Drug recipe. Yo, check that out. 
We just got the ability to craft all that stuff. So this gives us the ability to craft all those meds. Those are all really good meds. A lot of stim stuff, psi resistance, and of course the splints and the golden stars. I don't know what the golden stars actually do in this game, but that's actually amazing. Uh, auto loot the rest. Okay, glad I found that body. Let's go ahead and read this magazine before I forget. We also have a army warehouse map. All right, drug recipe done. Yeah, golden star. This gives you impact resistance. Okay. Yeah, we could also craft adrenaline, which is nuts. Tons of stamina recovery. That's a sick. I think that's all the bodies we're going to find. There could be one or two more, maybe in the grass somewhere, but uh, it's just so hard to see them. We're going to have to let it go. No casualties? That's crazy. We didn't lose any teammates, and we completed the objective, and I feel just a slightly more psychotic than I did before I did it, you know? Uh, tons of loot. We need to get back to base and uh, get all this stuff sorted out. Uh, but that is one faction checked off the list. So if we look at our PDA, now we just have... Uh, oh my god, I never grabbed this stash. Oh, that's, oh, that's going to bother me. I have to go grab the stash. I'm going to chug this energy drink and go sprint over there and get this damn this stash that I forgot. Uh, but yeah, we, we get back to base. We got so many things to sort through. Some more guns. We'll be able to change up our loadout, maybe get some upgraded stuff. Hopefully, maybe we got some stuff to fix our armor with, because it is pretty busted up. Um, I see it. Yeah, it's just a little box right there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Let me... Let me climb. Hmm. Surely I can vault this. Yes! Let's go! Alright, the vaulting mod is so good. Here it is. Oh, shit! <laughs> what is all this? Uh, got a hand watch, got some ammo, got a sniper rifle case. Okay, so we unlocked the Pelican Mercenary box, all right? And it just had an M4 in it, and it was kind of garbage. But this one's a sniper rifle case. So this could be even better. This actually, I wasn't going to open any more of these, but like, damn, this one though. Can I take all this? Fuck. All right, you know what? Since we can craft these stimulant injectors, I'm just going to pop one so that I can carry all this stuff there we go can i hold that oh no but i can't hold that <laughs> all right so we do have to lose that there what is this other one suit armor honestly suit armor is more important to me than a, a weapon great so there we go now we leave with this stuff that was amazing um messy but amazing and we have eliminated the freedom i don't know if efp has the same uh hunting parties quote unquote as a uh, gamma or uh if you take out enough of a faction you do enough crimes against them, little groups of them will just hunt you down wherever you are in the zone. It's pretty wild. Um, I don't know if that's a thing, but if it is, it's probably going to be an issue for us. Um, but yeah, good work, boys. And uh, let's head back to base. Go check out what all we got. So what's interesting I'm noticing right now is uh, I've got these the map in this uh, drug recipe uh, recipe sheet. And it says I read them, and I did read them, but it didn't, like, use the item. So I think I can actually sell these now for a little bit of money. Well, the map sells for not much, 400. Okay, well, we'll get rid of that. Well, I say uh, we got everything stored and put away, so I say we uh, take a nap and maybe get ourselves some food. So we finally have some. All right, what a day. That was nuts. I'm going to put lockpicks in here just so I know how many I have. So we got seven. That's enough to open up this ecologist field case. Or we could save up and try to get this sniper rifle case. Let's just open this ecologist box. Why not? Um, boop. Uh, echo detector headlamp with night vision, RF receiver, cat thyroid, chunk of chimera meat. So we got food, a mutant part, and all three of these little items here. Cool, I guess. The RF receiver is kind of good to have if we ever want to go for those packages. All right, let's go up to the fire. See if we can't make some food happen. All right, look at all this food we can make. All right, let's purify the chimera meat and then we'll stew a chimera meat. Oh man, we're just gonna, we're going all in on it. Oh, screw it. Oh, look at all that food we just made. Stew, okay. Boys, we have food for once, but uh, we're actually really hungry. So we're gonna use all this like right now. <laughs> it doesn't end. Oh, so there we go. I mean, it's nice to have the food, but yeah, it does not last long. I guess these two meals will get us pretty filled up, and um, we actually have enough to like last us another day or two in the zone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm thinking we'll probably just need to get some missions done, get our money saved up, so we can get some get uh, plenty of gear for the uh, the next faction. But I'm happy that we got one done. That was awesome. A little taste of what this series is all about. We are gonna eliminate faction leader of every faction. 
It's crazy. Sorry about the wait on the video. I know it took a while to get out, uh, but yeah, you know, I'm just, yeah. I don't have very many excuses for it. I'll just, uh, you know, I'm working on it. I'll do better. So I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. This YouTube channel, it means everything to me. So don't worry. Like, I'm not going to go anywhere. I know sometimes the, the, the consistency gets a little sketch. You might as you guys might be thinking like this dude's sus he's not even uploaded but trust me like i i love this all right worry not more videos are always on the way thank you for giving me your time today i hope you enjoyed it leave a like on the video if you did subscribe if you want to see some more what the heck is this dude doing uh <laughs> okay that threw me off thank you to the patreons links in the description for all that fun stuff i think that's all i got for you uh so yeah all right uh, see you guys in the next video peace out